Well, look, I've been cautious on the market. I'm still cautious. It seems like every strategist is still bullish. Uh, you know, they got one hand behind their back, maybe, but saying the second half of the year is going to be great. Uh, for the second half to be great, I think that the first half has to be ugly. So we're a long way away from the second half of the year. So let's forget about that. In terms of the here and now, I wouldn't sell stocks that you have big gains in and pay taxes because then you're betting on, on a big decline in the market only to get back in. So you're basically churning your own personal balance sheet. However, I would not put new money into the market except for very selectively. Look, you don't have to be in the market. And cash is a declining asset. We all know that. So the bet is, will stocks decline more than cash? And I believe that you're not getting paid for the risk right now, that there are still major issues out there. If, they, if the war in, in Ukraine does, you know, for whatever reason, if it, if it settles, if there's a major ceasefire, if they part ways, sure, the market will pop. But let's not forget, the war's been going on for just over six weeks, and the problems that the market's facing – which is the Fed tightening, and I think you'll see a series of 50 bips, are major problems that existed pre-Ukraine. Those aren't going away. Labor, labor, you know, the cost of labor is going up. Cost of labor never goes down. So you can't take money away from people. So, yes, I'm still worried about the market. Uh -huh. I still believe that the pressure on margins and corporates we're going to see and that the pressure on consumer, and we're a consumer-led economy, 70%. I don't know why people don't get that, that the consumer has to slow down because prices are so high. They're getting killed. Well, I think so, they, they, yes, they say cautious. that. They say that, but they're like, well, the economy's so strong that even if the consumer slows down a little bit, we're, we're still going to be fine. And, and by the way, to finish part of Niles' point, he gave us a lot uh, this morning, by the way. He said, we think the S&P is going to go down at least 20 percent peak to trough, and it could potentially be much higher than that because you have inflation running at 40-year highs. So, you know, this notion that, oh, we had a wonderful comeback in March and an ugly end to it yesterday, um, maybe that's just the beginning of a big give back, Steve. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, I can't pick levels. I think that's a fool's game to say down 20 percent. I mean, but you get the point, right? You get the, get point. the point. The point is that we're taking out the lows, yeah. man. Right. Directionally, I just think we've seen a move, major move up in the market. It's not when you buy it. It's when you sell it. So if you have good profits and you're a trader, take it. Few people can be as nibble as Pete is. Few people have the interest in doing that. That's what he does every day. And maybe options are a good way to play it. I still prefer stocks, options selectively. But to me, the market, the pop we've seen is basically over. And I look at some stocks. I mean, take a look at the transport today. Take a look at FedEx, GPS. I can't figure out why they're down. You, FedEx just reported. You know, so the number's good. They just had a change in management that I think is very positive, bringing new blood in there. He's not new to the company. But... The market does not trade on fundamentals, so you got to look at what it's trading on, and you have to look at liquidity. Liquidity sucks. You've got index funds that own 50% of the market at least, every stock. Then you've got the algos that trade in the headlines. And then beyond all that, you've got the backdrop of rising rates, of declining profits, and that's just not a market where you deploy capital unless something absolutely gets destroyed. But that says so